What's up guys and welcome to my video. This video is all about setting up a power line network. Now a power line network is pretty much the best way, other than a straight wired connection, of getting internet to another room in your house. Wireless, as good as it is, it's very practical but it just doesn't have the straight performance as a wired connection. What Powerline does is it takes that connection that you get through your broadband and then puts it all through the wires in your house that you've already got through your existing power line connection. Now all you need to get started are some power line adapters. What these do is they take that internet connection that you get through your modem and then put it through the power line. These are up to 500 megabit connection power line adapters and we'll just take them out of the box. We'll I'll actually see if they're any good, I haven't opened this box yet. Um, they're very, very small. I mean, there's one there. Very, very small. You used to get them and they were way bigger than this. But you literally just plug them in to your power line and then you just need to pair them and plug your connection via Ethernet into here. As you can see, these are the UK ones. Obviously, depending on your country, um, that other end will look different. Um, so you need two. You need at least two. You can have more than two um, if you have say an Xbox downstairs and a computer upstairs um, all in different rooms then you would need three of these um, depends how many devices you're going to be using also in the box you get two standard Ethernet cables and uh, you get uh, whatever that is some sort of foreign stuff um, and then advertisement brilliant um, installation CD why you'd need that it's a resource CD so I imagine it's got loads of stuff you won't ever need to look at and there's a quick installation guide as well. So once you've got them out of the box you need to obviously plug them in. Don't plug them into a six-way or four-way or any sort of extension lead cable, plug them straight into the wall. You can get ones that won't actually take up a wall socket as you can see these obviously there's nowhere to put anything on top of it but you can get the more expensive ones that you'll be able to plug just a normal device, whatever you want to plug in, into the adapter as well, so it won't actually take a wall socket up. So you can either set up a private network by pairing them, and then they will only work with those and any others that you pair onto the network. That way, no one else could use your internet. But it's not like Wi-Fi, it's very unlikely, and so I personally just prefer to use plug and play, plug them in, and then they should automatically connect to each other and start working. Let's show you how to get set up. So the first thing you need to do is find where your internet is. In this case we've got a Virgin Media Super Hub and that is the modem that will decode the broadband signal. Just simply plug an ethernet cable in like so. Once you've plugged it in you need to find the other end of the ethernet cable and then you plug that into the power line adapter. So in this case we're just plugging it in like so and then of course we've got to plug the actual adapter into the wall. Once you've connected the broadband end of your power line network it's time to connect the other side. Plug an ethernet cable into the adapter and then put the adapter in the wall and turn it on. The process now is pretty standard and it should automatically find and pair with your power line network. The last thing to do then is to plug the other end of the ethernet cable into your device. In this case it's a Macintosh PC. Here you see that our download speed is 62.37 with an upload speed of just under 3. Now this shows that there is pretty much no loss of performance whatsoever. What I'm getting upstairs through the modem is being transmitted around the house without pretty much any loss at all. Now transmitting internet from the same place to the same place using Wi-Fi, you can see that it's pretty much unusable. 0.79 download and 0.06 upload. Both connections are exactly the same except one uses Wi-Fi, one is using the Powerline network. So where Wi-Fi just can't really get to very easily, Powerline is by far the more stable and the more reliable option. And for anything like a computer or a TV or a games console, you really should be getting a Powerline adapter. And that is the end of the simple guide to Powerline networking. As you can see, it's very, very simple to set up, way simpler than a Wi-Fi network is to set up. Should you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comments section below. And why not subscribe to PC Centric for some more technology videos like this, as well as other gaming videos and other computer videos as well. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.